Hi guys, today we do another unboxing and my main thing is actually I did an order with Kiko Milano and um, just a few bits and bobs from other things and they will be really quick. Just got two shower gels, really simple, got them a little. Um, I think the black one was 50p and this one, the other one was 70p or something like this from Redox. Um, I literally just grabbed something because we were really in a rush and we were running out of shower gels and didn't have time to go to Waitrose to get our favourites from Treacle Moon. So yeah, we do only essential stuff. So Britain is still in lockdown, well, partially in lockdown, slowly getting east, but yeah. Then I also, um, and it was quite really cute, my husband was in Aldi um, to get some food and he saw um, the liquid islands and even bought me two of them, even I only would have needed one. So I'm super happy about this. So let's open it up. Uh, there we go oh I love it so same shiny package like where's the other stuff I had uh, so here there we go this was the brow gel and then I also had the um, gel eyeliner so very similar packaging love it looks actually really nice and let's open it up there we go felt tip Ooh, like it. Oh yeah. Seems good, seems good. So I need to test it out on the eye and then just let's see how it goes. But yeah, very happy. And he even got me two, which is quite cute because I, actually I would have only needed one. But very, very happy. Now, the main thing I'm actually filming. I placed an order with Kiko Milano. I didn't order from them for quite a while. We also had like Kiko shops in London. Um... And yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I usually like Kiko. I just it some, some, somehow fell off my radar. I think when I started to dwindle down my um, collection, I just unsubscribed from a lot of newsletters. But I saw recently um, they had like a sale going on and then like another extra 20% off some of the sale stuff. So I don't know what each item I paid now because it also doesn't say it on the invoice. But for everything together, I paid £32, which is really good when you see actually the amount of products I got. First thing I got is the Pure Clean Powder from Kiko. This one, I hope, is similar to the Dermalogica Powder Scrub you can have where you have like a white powder to um, exfoliate your face. And this is similar. It says to put it on your hands and um, then on your face to exfoliate. This is um, 50 gram, and I'm just really happy to tried it out because I did love the one from, from Demologica. It's just really expensive. Then, very mundane, but um, I got some um, manicure sticks. Um, they're usually, um, what are they usually made of? I think orange wood usually. I don't know. Doesn't say here. No, they were, I think I paid like two pound for them, but I needed some new ones and I quite like them. So I got them. Then, another thing. I just wanted to get because I didn't have it for a while a cognac sponge. Um, some of you might know this one. It's just really um, quite a healthy and um, very environmentally friendly alternative um, to scrub your face and to clean your face. So I'm quite happy. I have one again, and this is from the Green Me line from Kiko. It's very soft. Um, I know you have to leave them in some sort of packaging because otherwise they dry out and they get really hard. So I will leave it in there now. But it's literally just like a sponge. So very happy with that. Then. I got the Perfect Gel Duo. I had one of these before and um, I think I gave it to one of my friends because I wasn't too keen on the colour at some point. But I got one again and this is the Perfect Gel Duo and this is a nail lacquer and then a top coat. And this one is a really summery peachy colour which is why I wanted to get it. Does it say the colour name? No. And this is the gel top coat. And actually, I only bought that set because it was on sale and I needed a new gel top coat. Um, because I sometimes like to use a normal nail varnish to use a gel top coat, the normal ones you don't have to cure under light. Um, and it makes your nail varnish last much longer. But the gel top coat by itself was more expensive than this set, which was on like 60% off sale. So I got this. Then I also additionally got to try, um, they had a peel off base coat so or not base coat it's um like to put it around your cuticles to protect them for when you um paint your nails and interesting color it's pink let's open it up it should be like a kind of latex that then dries down yeah there you go super tiny fine brush 
to apply it around your cuticles and then you can paint your nails and then you just peel it off afterwards so if you um, over paint it um, it's much easier than, than clean up so just happy to try that out then next item oh now the interesting ones comes this one i was so happy when i saw that and look at the size isn't that cute this is a foundation and it's foundation pigments it's only 15 mil it's super teensy tiny love the packaging on that one let me open it up and this one is you take these drops um they're like pigment drops and put them in your normal moisturizer and then you literally turn your moisturizer in a bb cream and i really like the idea of that to just use your normal skincare and then just put some pigment drops in there to then use it so yeah they are the water flower magic foundation pigment drops and i got the shade number four i think this was the latest shade that i still had from these so i hope it's not too dark but kiko unfortunately they are not great on shade range anyway there we go oh that should actually work i think you have to shake it though yeah you can hear the balls in it shake it up because that looked a bit watery and that's, yeah much more okay there we have it very very watery as you can see so you literally just put that in your foundation um to turn your foundation into bb cream and what I also quite like it, if that actually is quite a good match for you, that's perfect for traveling. You just take this tiny, wincy little bottle with you and you still have the goodness of your normal skincare and but a bit of coverage um, by just a few pigments. I just rubbed it completely in my hand though. But it's not an accurate representation, I guess, because you're supposed to use it with your moisturizer. But yeah, really happy to try this one out. Then, last two products. Are they last two? Yeah, the last two. And this was from their Tuscan sunshine range nearly all of that was already sold out but these ones were left over and as i said even got a sale on it super happy so i got the perfect setting powder again that packaging so cute the box and even the compact it looks duochrome it looks orangey gold pink even so multi-chrome even orangey gold pink love it and it's seven grams in here open it up Ooh, wow look at that whoops protector film let's face it i don't really need another translucent setting powder but that embossing was what reeled me in uh, and then it wasn't sale as well so i'm super happy it's just like one of these transparent um setting powders i have another one of these from claudia schiffer which i actually want to tackle soon to um finish but absolutely love it so this i think when you have this in the vanity and get ready in the morning um that makes you happy doesn't it although the flower will wear off at some point and then i also got the blush and this one is actually nine grams oh again super cute compact but more rosy but again it's like a multi-chrome compact and then etching of the flowers on top nine grams and this is in the color number one florence dream let's open it up oh wow okay very nice it seems to be a bit um i don't know if you can see it but it's lighter on this side and goes a bit darker here and it doesn't seem to be an overspray it's a bit like yeah it reminds me of one of the kevin aquan blushes i have which is a bit like gradient like this but let's actually let's just swatch it on this side on this side and then both together again beautiful flower embossing but it will wear off when you use it but actually, yeah, on my hand you can see it quite well. This is the lighter one, this is the darker side, and this is it mixed up. So very nice peachy color. I film in daylight today, by the way. So first, lighter color, darker color, mixed. Let me turn it. Oh, wow. If I go in the sunshine completely, you can't really see it at all. Let's go out of the sunshine a bit. There we go. Focus. I hope you can see well. So yeah, overall, super happy. I mean, I needed something to perk me up a little bit during this whole lockdown going on. But um, I'm very happy. I'm actually, I even just today, I placed another order with Kiko Milano because they brought out a new eco-friendly range. And I just was quite interested in the product. And I thought, okay, let me just get something. And it wasn't even on sale because I try only to buy products from them when they're on sale. When they're on sale, Kiko, they have really good sales going on. Their stuff, some of the stuff literally goes 70% off. But the problem is you not always get everything um, from their ranges. I find Kiko is a bit like the Colourpop of Italy. 
so it's an Italian brand and um, I never had an issue with their products their products are actually really good um, and they churn out limited editions constantly so it's really quite interesting it's worth to have a look at their website but um, yeah overall I'm very happy with everything I got even like just the basics sometimes but I hope you like this video let me know what you think in the comments and I hope to see you next time bye bye